Yeah, I think we, we got our first link flat, which is a cluster flat at Line Street. That was 1981. Mm. It would have been about 19. And I think we'd heard about it through a gra maternal grandmother who had a flat at Prestonfield. So it was a fantastic thing to get out of bed and breakfast accommodation and to get into, in, into your own place. Previous to that, I think we'd been staying sort of Leith Walk and Leith areas in various bed and breakfast accommodation, some worse than others, it has to be said, but nothing nothing you could really call your own home. So to get somewhere, you know, even we were sharing with three other people, uh, even to get that, it was just like night and day. Yeah. And I think it was one of the great bits of good fortune we ever had. Craig and I both were about 19, 20 when we moved in at Lime Street. We were there, I think, for about 18 months, 20 months, something yeah. like that, and then moved on. Got the place at uh, West Mill, Dean Village. Extremely fortunate, because that, I think, probably was one of the best set of flats that Link it had. It was. I think we, we would have been happy with any flat. Yeah. It was just that came up. I think we went to Link at York Place every Friday and just sat there and asked if they had anything. So I think that, that kind of persistence paid off and that was the first one that came up. So I think, I mean, the Proclaimers began in that flat. We'd played in bands before, but we could rehearse. It was just the two of us in the guitar, so we could rehearse them. We wrote songs there and instantly we started as the Proclaimers in the beginning of 1983, we started writing better songs and uh, it kind of went on from there. So the entire, in fact, the entire first album would have been written yeah. in that flat? Could the first, all the first album and a good part of the second album. The second album, album as well. Yeah. And then, yeah, we were both there until I got married and Craig moved out in the sort of late 80s. 87. And then um, I was here for another couple of years before moving on. But nothing but good memories yeah, about Link. Really. Link, they treated us really well. Yeah. Um, we never had any hassle over them. Um, and I, I always, I think, it struck me that they, tra they, they treated the tenants with respect. And um, we were extremely grateful that we got those flats. Um, both were a big stroke of luck. And I think a lot of people that we knew were about the same age as us, weren't, were nowhere near as lucky in no. terms of the kind of strokes of luck that we had by getting those and given, flats. And given that both of us for all the time we were in the flat in, in Abbey Hill, and uh, mo most of the time they were in the flat at Dean Village, we were unemployed for that in, entire period. So getting that as something like that, being as lucky as that, helped us to develop what we, what we did, which eventually got us off the door. So we understand you're 50 the same year that we're 50. Yeah. So we'd like to see everybody at Link Housing Association many thanks. Yeah, thanks. And all the best for the future.